what I have here is a uh, Git, GitHub code spaces template that I've opened up. It has some code. It doesn't matter at the end of the day where you are actually working. This is going to be a Python API that I'm going to be using today. And the first thing that you need to make sure is that actually uh, code spaces is working. You can see that there is the logo for code spaces. It's a, it's an Octocad uh, right there working and it's fine. If I click it, it, will actually tell me, yeah, do you want to disable it? So make sure that that's enabled and uh, running for your account. All right, so uh, the first thing that I wanna show you is how how to make it work uh, for prompt-based generation of, of code. So I have, although this is a Python HTTP API, it does have a little bit of HTML. So I'm gonna close this readme. I'm going to go to the web app and, and then I'm going to go to static and I know there's an index.html that I want to work with. So I am going to uh, collapse this so that we can see these uh, very uh, well. And uh, I'm going to, this, this is the HTML, it has a, it's very simple. And uh, although I'm not a JavaScript developer and this is not necessarily a straightforward way of adding JavaScript to a project, I do want to make some quick changes and I want to, instead of having these buttons here, I want to uh, make sure that I can have something interactive. So what I'm gonna do is going to open here uh, a new line so that I can paste in a, a an HTML comment. So this is one of the ways that uh, Copilot can work and I'm gonna uh, paste that. You can see uh, that it reads, create an interactive form using JavaScript that accepts text as input and the form must display a button and submit as an asynchronous request to the generate API endpoint. Now, those are details of my application. The slash generate is the API endpoint. I know how exactly that works and I'm just giving it some context so that Copilot understands what I want. So I'm gonna hit return and you can see that the generated output is in gray. That's because I haven't accepted it yet. So what I'm going to be doing, is I'm gonna hit tab so that uh, I can accept that I, this looks okay to me. So when I hit tab, uh, it puts my cursor at the end. I can hit return and then I'll keep getting some suggestions. In this case, um, Copilot has says, well, that looks like the end of the form. Yes, that sounds correct. I'm gonna open up another uh, a, a, another a line and I still get more suggestions because uh, it seems like it wants to put the output in a paragraph uh, right there. And it took it, it took a second, but it, now it's asking me like if this is, uh, if this looks good enough and that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna accept everything and I'm gonna hit tab. And then of course I need to close the tag, but you can see that the copilot suggestions are right there. So this is pretty good. Now, uh, this doesn't solve completely uh, everything that I have. There's some technical details that uh, Copilot generated. Copilot generated most of what I needed. I mean, I am not a, a full-time JavaScript developer. I know a little bit of JavaScript and I know that this looks uh, almost, almost correct. So in this case, you can see that the stringify uh, line here was using just the raw input and uh, that is almost almost right in in fact to make this application work uh, input is not going to be correct and what we need here is actually length and uh, length input you can see that as i'm typing uh, Copilot is making some some suggestions as, as well. So there you go that that's a very solid way of gener generating uh, generating code by using a prompt, by using a comment as a prompt in uh, VS Code. And you can see that the, uh, again, the code generated might not be 100% exactly what you need. And in this case, it wasn't because I knew that length uh, was one of those things that I needed to uh, make a change. But like making a small change to a generated code, well, it gets me almost all of the way there. And this allows me to go uh, much faster.